All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the hat off because I'm going to do the uh, scarf. I'm thinking I'm going to make it a, a scarf that's going to be just wrapped around his neck. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to separate the collar from his neck. For this to work, I have to have the collar open. I kind of like the idea of the open collar, quite honestly. I've got to redo the front of the shirt here because this changes the whole thing. In fact, I'm going to take the collar off for now until I get the uh, scarf done. Well, I'll just have to redo the collar. Okay, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to make it look like a bunched up neckerchief around his neck with all the wrinkles and everything. And I had the brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, I'm over playing it here. Idea of doing this in rolled pieces of clay. That... I can join together and then go over with a uh, latex tool to try to make it look like uh, it's a cloth that's around his neck. I'm trying to build up the shirt around the collar, I mean, with the collar. It's kind of hard to get a good camera angle here, but I'll try. I guess that works. I have to live with it for a couple of days and see how it feels. If it doesn't feel good, I'll redo it. All right, I've got the uh, hurricane straps on the uh, hat. I'm going to place the hat on the uh, peg. I've got to get these straps to a logical place around his neck. The 
clay is sticky, but it just doesn't want to stick. I like to make all of this so that uh, they can make a mold of everything together and they don't have to do any fabrication, but uh, I may not be able to do that. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to, I took the hat off again. I've got the uh, straps where I want them, but I still got to work on the shirt, so I'm going to do that right now. This just takes forever. I mean, you get into details and you start finding more details that you've got to cover. And uh, it's just almost seems never ending. But at some point, it does get less. All right, I watched a movie last night uh, called On the Wings of Eagles. Uh, it was a uh, Cold War type uh, movie. And uh, anyway, it's that's neither here nor there. It was made back in the 60s. But there was one scene where the actors were standing with their backs to the camera. And I could see the wrinkles in the back of their shirts. And I thought, why not? <laughs> so I took some images off the movie and uh i figure why not use the uh obvious material that i got from that so that's what i'm doing right now Okay. The hat's going to cover a lot of this area here, so I'm not going to worry too much about that area, but this area below the hat I do have to worry about. What bothers me is uh, this strap going under, opening over the uh, scarf. So I'm going to take it under the scarf and I'll just uh, deal with that like this. It just makes more sense. I'm wearing gloves because it probably doesn't really hurt me, but over time, whenever you use any kind of chemicals, I'm thinking that it will harm you, so it's best to be safe. And so I choose to wear gloves. All right, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.